Hey guys, Redstone Toy here. Today I will be showing you how to make this map. It's a 3x3 three three map on item frames. So you start off by putting item frames on a wall. And when you put a map on it, it covers the whole block instead of just the item frame. So when you put a bunch of maps together, it all creates a good nice seamless map if you do it correctly so today guys i will be showing you how to do it so let me go to a new world okay let's go yeah just infinite Let's name this one map number two. And then let's put 999. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that. It will work on any seed. I just did this village seed to show you that it works really ni nicely with villages. I guess. Okay. So once you do that. So first you want to get a wall, a 3x3 three three wall, then you're going to get item frame, and empty map, and then you're going to want to get compasses, oh, I need to get the empty map again. Then after you get the empty map, you're going to need to get a chest to make it easier and an anvil to make it a lot easier so you're gonna open up your chest and i recommend putting all these anvils in here and then putting all the extra blocks you don't need like that putting in the chest too because you're not really going to use it and then put the compasses too once you get that, you might want to organize your inventory like that, like that, okay. So then you want to cover this wall with item. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get your anvil and not the compass yet. And put the anvil down. Put back in the chest, put the anvil back in. And then you're just going to stand... Right on top of this, look that way, and create the map. And then if it needs going in, you see the corners are a little empty. That's because my render distance is shorter. If I put it longer, it will film the map, I think, completely. Or maybe just like the tiny tip of the corners. Then you're gonna get your compass. You're go, gonna go in the anvil, put your map in, put the compass, and you're gonna grab that map. And you're gonna put that map in the middle. Oh wow. Okay guys, this we have run into some technical difficulties. We are actually on the borderline of two chunks are um, map we are on the borderline of two map chunks so it looks like we're gonna have to move this a little bit to the other side we'll keep the trusted anvil here just because it'll be a pain to move it and then let's grab one stone like that. Do a nice three by three. Like that. that. One with the item frames. Then put the stone back, put the item frames back. And now we have two of that map. Which let's put this map in the chest because we might need it later but right now let's go over here 
make a new map right here. As you can see, it looks quite different from what it was before. Which direction does it need to load it? There we go. So as you can see, I'm just filling in the corners of the map. So it doesn't look weird. So now I should place this in the middle right here. And then, I'm, since this is my middle map, I'm going to put it in with compass. Like that. As you can see now, my map has a little um, pointer thing. Now, to get the one above this, like the one on top right here, I'm going to have to look at which direction that green arrow is pointing. And go... I'm going to... So it becomes flat. You're going to create a map. And then you're going to want to fill in the corners. Just so it looks nicer. Now we have the map that's directly over the one we just made. So let's just use the map to get back. Whoops. My thing froze. Sorry for that. My game is a little laggy. Right now. I'm not running on this. As you can see, it looks really nice connected up to And now I'm going to find this corner right here by going above that green dot and then to the right of it. So I'm going to go back here again. Like that, and then I'm going to go to that other corner, like here. Then I'm going to go create map, fill it in real quickly. Okay, then I'm going to go and put it at its spot right there. As you can see, it looks really nice, like all the islands. Now I'm going to just go directly to the side so I could get this one. So I'm going to look at my map. Go right there till I turn to a dot. Create map. Oh, this, that's the same as the other one I made. So as you can see, guys, that's where I messed up. I sort of spawned on the edge of two map chunks. So that should go right there. Oh, wait, nope. It should go right here. There we go. As you can see, the village looks really nice. Right there. So now I'm going to go to the other side of the map. So I'm going to go here and go, go until it turns into a dot. Over. And I'm going to go like that. And it needs to be filled in. So I'm going to do that real quickly. There we go. Now it's filled in. So I'm going to go back. Put this right inside. As you can see, it looks really nice. And it fits good together. In the corner. But going to this side. By going to there and then going up in the top corner. Just like that. And then I'm going to go that way. Okay, and then I'm going to create a map. Just like that. 
and it should fit right in that corner that I specified right here and wow that looks really nice so next I'm going to do the bottom after just emptying this my stuff right here on it. So now all I have is that first print. <coughs> now to do the bottom, I'm going to go forward, like, create map, fill it in. I'm going to do the corner map because I'm already here. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, corner map I need to fill in still. I think it's over here. Over here. Or all the way over here. Is it filling in now? Okay, am I still in the corner? Oh, it's the other way. <laughs> that was a huge mess up. Should start filling in now. There we go. Now I just need to go that way. Okay, so once I'm there, I'm going to place this map on that wall. And then I'm going to place the, the second map right next to it. Bam. And bam. And the village is complete now. Now all we have to do is that bottom corner. So I think we already did that side. So I'm going to have to do the bottom for the other side over here. So I'm going to just go over here and then go over here until I go into a new map chunk and then I'm gonna just fill that in the corner and there we go that's our last map I'll place this and and, we'll and you can do this with four by four block maps and five by five and you could get however big you want to get with this type of thing as you can see the map looks really nice here I place where the map is located right at that little stretch and tilled grass right there for the village and yeah that's it thanks guys for watching please like and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed the video